Hey there everybody and welcome to this series of videos that's going to teach you the ins and outs of Obsession for Windows. In this first video, I'm going to be covering how you go about actually downloading, installing, and updating the program on your computer. First of all, there are some minimum system requirements you have to meet before you can install Obsession for Windows. You have to be running Windows Vista or better. I don't know if there are any computers that are still running Windows Vista in existence. There may be a few. Preferably, you're running Windows 7 or Windows 10. You must install the program to a local hard drive, not to a network drive. You have to have full administrative rights. Don't try to run this on an account where you have parental controls turned on. And you must have a minimum screen resolution of 1366 by 768. For most people, that's not going to be a problem either. In order to download Obsession for Windows, you'll need to have a Gmail address. If you don't already own a Gmail account, you're going to need to create one. But don't worry, it takes less than five minutes. You just need to go to accounts.google.com slash sign up as I've done here there you're going to enter your first name your last name you'll create a email address for yourself at gmail.com you'll assign a password to it and then it'll ask you a few miscellaneous questions like your date of birth your gender and so forth why you may ask must you have a gmail address in order to download the program well Dan Halligan, the designer and publisher of Obsession, and I wanted to have some degree of control over the downloading process. We could have shared the files with everybody and not required the submission of a sign-up form, but we did feel it was necessary to have some accounting of who was actually downloading the program. Rest assured, we are not going to sell or provide your email address to anybody else. You may be added to Dan's mailing list for Obsession or any other games he might design in the future, but that's going to be the extent of it. Once you have a working Gmail address, you're going to want to sign up to be invited to download the program. To do that, you're going to need to visit the page tinyurl.com forward slash Obsession sign up. Don't worry, there's going to be a clickable link to that page in a number of documents you're going to encounter before you sign up to download Obsession for Windows. So this is the form in front of me right now, and for purposes of an example, I'm going to use an email address I created for another program I wrote and uploaded for free, and that was Too Many Bones by Chip Theory Games, which you can also download for free if you're interested. I'll put a link to it in the show notes. In this first box, you're going to type your everyday email address. Now, the address I created for Too Many Bones was too many bones program at gmail.com. But you might have another kind of email address, like an AOL.com address, or a Yahoo.com address, or something else. In this second box, however, this is where I'm going to need you to type in your Gmail address, the one you may have just created, or it may be the same as the first email address you entered. Certainly in my case, it will be too many bones program at gmail.com. It's the Gmail address we're going to use to invite you to download a possession for Windows on your computer. Some of you may have a G Suite or Google Workspace address. If you don't know what that is, don't worry about it, but uh, it's, it's basically a Gmail address that doesn't end in at gmail.com. If that's the case, then you're going to want to make sure you type that Gmail address, that Google Workspace address, up in the first box. And in the second box, you're going to type G Suite at gmail.com or something like that. Something to clue me in to the fact that that's the type of address you have and that we should use this first email address in order to send you the invitation. 
The thing is, this second email box has a requirement that it ends in gmail.com. So you're not going to be able to put anything else in here that doesn't uh, fit that criteria. Because you're going to get an error message. In the next couple boxes, type your first and last name. And then we're just asking for your city, your state, your zip, for example, Los Angeles, California, USA. Include any notes you want in the notes or comments section. And when you're ready, click Submit. You'll then see a screen that looks like this, thanking you for submitting your contact info. In addition, if you go to your Gmail, you're also going to see that same type of thank you there as well. This message says expect to receive a response soon after the program is officially released. That's because I'm recording this video prior to the release of the program. However, once the program is officially released, your message will probably say something like expect to receive a response within 24 hours. For now, I'm going to delete this confirmation email. Before I talk about how to download and install Obsession for Windows, I just want to talk about your mouse for a second. Since I'm a righty, you're going to hear me say things like left click and right click in this video. And I apologize ahead of time to all you southpaws out there. When I use the word click or left click in these videos, I mean click with your primary mouse button. For most right-handed people, and even maybe some left-handed people, that would be your left mouse button. When I say right-click, that means click with your right or your secondary mouse button. However, if you set up your mouse to be a left-handed mouse, and you therefore switch the primary and secondary buttons, just know that when I say click or left-click, to you, that really means right-click, and when I instruct you to right-click something, anyone with a left-handed mouse should instead click with the left mouse button. Okay, most of you aren't going to have to worry about that, so you can ignore it if it sounds confusing. The next thing you're going to want to do is create a location for the installation files that you're going to be downloading from the web. The easiest way to do that is to go to your Windows desktop, right-click a blank area on that desktop, and then left-click New Folder. Name this new folder Obsession Install, and hit Enter to denote that you're done typing. Check that Gmail account at some point, Eventually, you're going to get an email that says you received an invitation to view the files. Open that email. You're going to see a very large folder in the middle of that email, and if you hover your mouse over it, it's going to look like this. You can either click this folder, or you can click Open at the bottom of the email. Either way, it's going to take you to the shared online folder where the installation files exist. There are six of them, as you can see here, and there's a little heading up here that says Shared With Me, Obsession for Windows. You'll need to click on Obsession for Windows. That'll open up a pop-up menu that looks like this, and then you're going to click on Download to download the installation files. You'll see a message in the bottom right corner of your screen that says Preparing Download, Zipping One File. While this is going on, I'm just going to mention that Google's notorious for generating virus warnings or warning that it couldn't scan for viruses. As far as this program is concerned, those are all erroneous and you can safely ignore them. The zipping process should take about a minute or two, depending upon the speed of your internet connection. Once it's complete, you're going to be prompted to choose to save the zipped file, as you can see here. I'm just going to click on Save. I happen to be running Google Chrome here, but you might be running Firefox or some other browser, and therefore the download is going to look a little different for you than it will for me. But the process is basically the same. You need to go to the folder, 
that contains the file that you just downloaded. In my case, I'm going to come down here and click this little up arrow and click Show in Folder. That's going to show me the zipped file that I just downloaded. You know it's a zipped file because the icon looks like a file folder with a zipper on it. Right click on that file and then click Cut. Once you've done that, you can close all the other windows or minimize them, your choice. Then find that Obsession Install folder that you created earlier, right click it, and then click on Paste. That will paste the zipped file that we just downloaded from the web into the Obsession Install folder. Now you can go ahead and open that folder and you'll see the same file now that you've pasted it. Next you're going to need to open that zipped file, so go ahead and click or double click on it depending upon the configuration of Windows. And then you'll see a folder called Obsession for Windows. Open that as well. And there are the same six files that we saw earlier. We need to extract those six files or decompress them and get them out of this zipped folder. To do that, you can simply use your mouse and click and drag on the white space of the folder and you'll see a box as you move the mouse around. Just make sure that box highlights all six of the files like that. Once all six files are highlighted, right click on the highlighted area and then click on Copy. Click the back button in your folder twice to go back to the folder containing the zip file that you downloaded. Once, twice. And then go to the white space of that folder, right click, and click paste. That is going to decompress, as you can see, the files from that zip folder. And assuming that all goes well and according to plan, you don't need the zip file any longer, so you can go up to it if you want right click it and click on delete and then click yes to confirm that you want to send it to the recycle bin. Before proceeding with the installation I do want to point out that these files, the program, its contents, they're copyrighted by me and by Dan Halligan. As a result please don't share these files with anyone else. If somebody else wants access to them, they only need to fill out the same form that you did. Okay, legalities aside, now you're ready to install Obsession for Windows on your Windows PC. Look for the file called Setup in all capital letters. That would be this one right here. Again, go ahead and click on that file, or you may need to double-click. You'll then probably see a user account control window. Click on Yes to approve the installation of the program. You'll get a Welcome to the Obsession Installation Program screen that looks like this. Click OK. I strongly urge you to install the program in the default folder that then appears. Now for most people that's going to be C colon backslash program files x86 backslash obsession. Don't change that if you don't have to. It'll make things much easier for you down the road. Click this icon up here with the image of the computer in it and the installation will continue. You'll be prompted to set up a program group named Obsession for Windows. Simply click Continue. Then you may see one or more version conflict windows appear. If you do, you just want to click Yes in order to keep the files that are newer on your computer intact. You may see this version conflict window once, twice, maybe even six or seven times. Just click Yes every time you see it. You might not see it at all, depending upon your particular setup. So I saw it once, but on some other computers you may see it multiple times. Finally, I get a message that says Obsession Setup was completed successfully. I'm going to click OK.
It's important that you understand that the version of Obsession for Windows that you just installed is probably an old one. The current version of the program can be found in the Obsession install folder that you created earlier in this process. And in the next several steps, I'm going to show you how to update the old version with the new one. In this Obsession install folder, you're going to find two files named Obsession, as shown here. Notice that one of them has an icon with a black bar across the top of it, and if I hover over it, you'll see that that icon looks like the cover of the Obsession game box. I want you to right-click on that file, and then click Copy. Next, you need to go to the folder where you actually installed Obsession for Windows. If you didn't change that installation folder, you can click this shortcut to Obsession folder to get there very quickly. But if you did change the installation folder, or if your program was installed on a drive other than Drive C, this shortcut is not going to work, and you're going to need to manually navigate to the folder where Obsession was just installed. Since I installed the program to the default folder, I can go ahead and click this shortcut. You'll see the program file there, Obsession, and another file that's used for uninstalling the program. You're going to want to right-click on the white space and then click Paste. And make sure that you instruct Windows to replace the old file with the new one that you're copying. You may also see a message like this that says you need to provide administrator permission to copy to the folder. If that's the case, simply click Continue. And again, you may get a user account control warning. Click Yes to proceed. Eventually, however, you are going to be able to safely paste that file. Finally, you may want to place a shortcut to this program on your Windows desktop. To do that, right-click on the Obsession file in C, Program Files x86, Obsession, right-click, and then click Copy. Then right-click a blank portion of your Windows desktop, and make sure you click Paste Shortcut. Not Paste, but Paste Shortcut. The icon you create will have a shortcut arrow in the bottom left corner, meaning you created a link to this file as opposed to a copy of it. Finally, if you want, you can right-click this shortcut, rename it, and call it Obsession for Windows, if you wish. At this point, you can close the installation folder. When you click on Obsession for Windows to run the program, if you're running Windows 10 with Windows Defender, you may see a window pop up that says Windows protected your PC, looking something like this. This is simply due to the fact that Windows regards me as an unknown publisher. So to get around this problem, you need to click on More Info, this little link that's highlighted right there. Once you do that, the window will look like this, and then you'll be able to click the button that says Run Anyway. And once you do that, chances are Windows 10 won't display this window again. However, if you own some other antivirus or anti-malware program on your computer, you may see some sort of similar warning. Or maybe your antivirus or anti-malware program is going to prevent my program from running altogether. I just happen to be a programming hobbyist, and my program just doesn't especially get along with security software. Trust me, my program does not contain any viruses or malware, period, end of sentence. It only does what it claims to do, and that is it lets you play Obsession on your Windows PC. So if you are having a problem with your antivirus or anti-malware program, you are going to have to find out how to set an exception in your security program to let the program run. When you hear that there's a new version of Obsession for Windows available, you're going to want to update the version you're running with the new one. It's a far simpler procedure to do that than the one you just went through. In fact, you already sort of went through the updating steps as part of that original installation. 
Before you proceed with an update of the Obsession program, obviously be sure that Obsession for Windows is not currently open or is running on your computer. Then you're going to want to go back to Gmail and locate your original invitation. Just like you did before, open that invitation and then click on Open in order to access the shared files online. Now I hear you say, oh wait, I accidentally deleted my invitation and now I can't find it. That's fine. In that case, you can just go to drive.google.com and then on the left, click Shared with Me and click Obsession for Windows. In this shared folder, you'll find the same six files I spoke about earlier. Two of those files are named Obsession. One's called Obsession.cab, the other is called Obsession.exe. This is the file that contains the updated version of Obsession for Windows. So I want you to right-click it and download it, just like you did before. You're going to see a message that Google Drive is scanning for viruses. You may see another message that says it couldn't scan for viruses, as I just did here. In that case, simply click Download Anyway. Once again, save the file. Once again, like you did before, locate that file you just downloaded. Right-click. And this time I want you to cut it, then navigate to where you installed Obsession for Windows. Again, for most people, that's going to be Local Drive C, Program Files x86, Obsession, right-click on the white space, and then click Paste to overwrite the old version of Obsession with the new one that you just downloaded. Make sure you confirm that you want to replace it. Again, give it administrative permission if it asks for it. And click Yes if you see a user account control window like this. You've just updated your version of Obsession with the new one. As you can see, you didn't have to repeat the installation all over again. You just simply needed to copy the single file that contains the updated program. So assuming everything worked the way it was supposed to, we no longer need this Obsession Install folder. You can right-click and click on Delete, and then click Yes to go ahead and confirm the deletion. So you see, if you happen to not be computer literate, you just got a lesson in Windows in addition to learning how to install the program. Assuming you install the program correctly, when you run it, now I'm getting a message that's similar to the Windows 10 message that says uh, Windows is trying to protect me from a file it's not familiar with. I'm just going to uncheck that box and click Run. And assuming everything works, you're going to see a window that looks something like this. And at this point, I'd like you to proceed to the next video in the series to find out how to actually use the program to play the game. If you can, please support this project and help me to continue to work on and improve Obsession for Windows. You can support me by visiting my Patreon page at www.patreon.com slash Larry Schneider and contribute a couple dollars a month to help me continue my cause. Every little bit helps. I know that most people don't tend to contribute or offer any donations, but really, it's going to make a difference. And if I don't have the wherewithal to continue to support the program, then development on it is just simply going to stop. So please help out if you can. Finally, if you have any general comments or questions or problems, please post them on the BGG Guild that I created for Obsession for Windows, Guild number 3922. And that way, everybody can benefit from the discussion. Thanks for watching.